Being under constant threat, Israel has created some of the best known and well-established special forces units in the world. However, there are many lesser known special operations units that play a vital role in Israel's defense establishment. Here are the top five Israeli special forces units you've never heard of. Before we get into the video, if you are military, law enforcement, or are a civilian with a high level of tactical gear knowledge, you can apply to Agilite's gear testing program. Selected applicants receive product samples, videos, or questionnaires regarding gear or concepts still in development, free of charge. Click the link in the description below to apply. Now, back to the video. Number 5. Lotar Arava In one of Israel's most remote regions, known as the Arava, regular protective services such as the police cannot respond quick enough to active terror situations. A group of ex-Special Forces operators living in the area took a stand to protect their community and their families. Lotar Arava is a unique unit in the IDF. Not only does it specialize in counterterrorism and hostage rescue, but it is also made up of former IDF Special Forces reservists. The unit was established in 2011 after a group of terrorists infiltrated Israel from the Egyptian border and carried out a terror attack that killed eight Israelis. The Lotar Arava team, which at the time was a civilian quick response force, responded to the attacks and helped the IDF track down and eliminate the terrorists. Shortly after, the IDF understood the importance of the force and took it under its wing, gave them additional training, capabilities, and established them as a counter-terror force that can respond quickly and efficiently to any incident in their area. Number 4. Yahalom Yahalom is the IDF's Special Operations Engineering Unit. They specialize in sabotage missions, demolition of buildings, sabotage of enemy infrastructure, preparing explosive devices and bombs, neutralizing enemy explosive devices, and locating and destroying terror tunnels. Yahalom is a classified unit, and almost none of its special activities are exposed to the public. Since Yahalom's operators work closely with other SF units, such as Shayetet 13 and Sayeret Matkal, they are some of the most highly trained soldiers in the IDF. Their training process includes training and engineering, explosive ordnance disposal, tunnel warfare, and counterterrorism. Number 3. Gidonim Any good defense force needs a strong and effective undercover operations team. While the IDF has its Duvdevan unit, Israel's police force has Gidonim. Crime organizations in Israel are at war with each other and regularly car bomb and assassinate one another. The Israel police decided to establish a special operations unit that uses counter-terror tactics to combat it. Unit 33, Gidonim, is tasked with going undercover and infiltrating terror cells and organized crime syndicates. Gidonim operators do not specialize in one specific job, but learn how to operate a variety of occupations to better execute their highly secretive missions. Most of Gidonim's operations are highly classified and not known to the public. The few missions that eventually became public paint a picture of a highly creative unit that stalks and infiltrates Israel's enemies to gather valuable information and arrest high-value targets. Number 2. Erez, the Alpine Unit When most people think of Israel, they think of hot weather and deserts. What people don't know is that Israel is home to the Hermon Mountain, which stands at 2,814 meters above sea level and is covered with snow all winter long. The Alpinist unit is an Israeli Special Forces Reserve unit. Under Israel's Northern Command, the unit specializes in fighting in extreme weather conditions on Israel's northern border with Lebanon and Syria. The IDF realized that there was a need for a dedicated unit trained to deal with extreme winter conditions and have the ability to repel an attack if necessary. Unit operators are proficient in many aspects of snow warfare, among them sniping, surviving harsh weather conditions, and combat in difficult terrain. Number 1. Masada Israel has some of the most dangerous prisoners in the world. An unhealthy mix of criminals, gangsters, and terrorists creates an unpredictable and hostile environment, an environment that regular prison guards and police forces cannot handle alone. For these reasons, Israel created the Masada Special Forces Unit. Masada specializes in every aspect of riot control, hostage rescue, and breaching but turned up to a level beyond regular SF training. 
It deals with extremely claustrophobic environments and heavily armored buildings that house some of the most dangerous terrorists and criminals in the world. The unit has trained itself to be as self-reliant as possible and works with a variety of tools, special tactics, and weapons. The operators work under extreme pressure, knowing that one wrong move or decision could have dire consequences on both a national and international level. To get into Masada, you need to have served in a combat role in your regular military service. That is why the unit is primarily made up of ex-IDF Special Forces operators. There is no other unit like it in the world. For more videos on Israeli Special Forces and their gear, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget, if you are military, law enforcement, or are a civilian with a high level of tactical gear knowledge, you can apply to Agilite's gear testing program. Selected applicants receive product samples, videos, or questionnaires regarding gear or concepts still in development, free of charge. Click the link in the description below to apply.